Hi everyone, it's Amanda here from Little Crafty Peel and this video is a bit different from what I normally do. I normally make cards on my channel, but a long time ago when I started I was also doing some scrapbooking and I made a couple of mini albums that were really successful. So I thought it would be fun to make a new version of one of them. So this is the envelope mini album, new version, and also this is the English version of it. I also have a Spanish version uh, that you can check out following the link in the information box and also below the video. If you need it in Spanish, just go there because from this point on I'll stop doing the Spanish subtitles. Now this is the pattern paper that I'm using by Pink First Studio. But depending on when you watch this video, this might not be available anymore. That's okay, I chose Pink First Studio because they have lots of paper collections and I'm sure you can find one that works for you and even one that is very similar to the one I'm using. I'm also using this grey board. This one is by, Pink, uh, by Tonic Studios, but there are many brands that make it. I think it's called Mix Media Board. And these are the envelopes that I'm going to be using. There is a link to everything below the video. Now, if you don't want to use these size of envelopes, uh, you will just need to adapt the measures of the album to your envelope. And also, if you don't have the board that I uh, showed you before, you can also use any carton you have from a cereal box, for example. And as you can see, the first thing you need to do with your envelopes is to seal them very well. I use some glue for that. And then you can score on one of the sides at 3 eighths of an inch and fold it. On that folded area, I'm going to make two holes and I'm using a cropper dial for that. However, I made a mistake here and I wanted to explain because I'm using the smallest hole in the biggest length, let's say, but I didn't keep into account I'm adding a structure to the album. So when I want to make the holes on the structure later, I won't reach with my cropper dial. So it's better if you're going to use a cropper dial to make the holes a little bit closer to the top and the bottom sides of the envelope. Now, when you have all your envelopes ready, I'm using seven envelopes. You can cut a tiny little stripe on one side to have it open. And that way we get a pocket. And now that we have all the envelopes ready, let's make the base or structure of our album. You have on the screen all the measurements you need. If this is not clear, you can also head to my blog. There is a link below the video and there I also have all the measurements that you need.
Now to cover the inside part of the structure, I'm going to use this paper and we need to cut four pieces that completely cover the gray board. So the measures you need to use are exactly the same ones you used for the board before. Now it's the time to make those holes on the board and as you can see my crocodile doesn't reach the place where they should be. So what I'm gonna do is use a pick tool to make the, the holes. It is not really ideal, it would be nicer and neater if I use the crocodile, but I didn't want to start over again so I did what I could with my mistake and what I'm gonna do is add an eyelet to make it look a bit nicer. I also decided to use eyelets on the envelopes to protect them a little bit more but if you're careful when using your album maybe you don't need to do this, it's not completely necessary. Now let's take care of those envelopes and make them pretty with pattern paper. On the back side we are going to have a flap to give us more space. We are also going to make inserts for the pockets and remember that if you get lost you have all the measures on my blog. Also below the video there is a supply list and if you need pictures of the supplies there is also a visual supply list there. If you don't see it you just need to expand the description box that is below the video.
These are the inserts for the pockets and I'm going to make a nice border on the side using a die and a die cutting machine. Now if you don't have this, there are also tools that make borders and if you don't have any of that, you can just leave them the way they are. And the last thing I'm going to add is a couple of pockets on the inside part of the covers. That way you can put there some tags or some notes or whatever you want. And now we can finally put the album together using a piece of string.
And now let's finish up the album adding some decoration to the cover. I'm using these die cuts by Pink Fresh Studio. They come ready for you to use. And as I said with the papers, you have many different packages of these die cuts, so you can choose something that works for you. And that's it, the album is ready. As you can see, it is a very simple one. I don't like to complicate myself much and I like simple things. So I hope you also liked it. Thank you so, so much for watching. And remember that all the links to my blog and supply list are below the video. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.